Hi, welcome to another Witch Doctor's How To. Today we're going to show you how to install a backrest on a Vision. These are the backrests we carry. Uh, we have them in black and chrome. You can get them from the Victory dealer as well. Uh, we're just going to show you how to install it. They both install the exact same way. The backrests also have the holes for the luggage racks we offer. So a lug luggage rack will bolt on. Also, if you have a Victory luggage rack from previous, um, you find one on eBay or something, it'll still bolt on to our backrest. So our backrest, like I say, come black or chrome. We also give you the uh, uh, bolts and bolt mounting bolt kit, and we give you the weather stripping, and we'll show you what this is for. But this is when you have to cut out the panel on the back on the trunk. Um, if you can't cut straight, if you guys can't cut straight, we give you this. You can put it on the edge to kind of dress the edge up a little bit. You don't have to use it. A lot of guys don't, but if you happen to cut crooked and it looks terrible, you can put this on and it gives you that little bit of a finished look. So let's go over to the bike and I'll show you how easy this is to install. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull this access panel off. This is real easy. No bolts, no nothing. Just get your fingers under there, pop it up, and you want to kind of do it even, pop up the other corner. Just lift that up, kind of pull that out, it comes right out. See it has these little uh, pins here and that little pin is where this rubber grommet goes on. So that's all you do is you lift that off. Next thing you want to do is if you look down in here, this is how you take your seat off. There's a bolt there and there's one on the other side. There are four millimeter allens on this bike. So you can use a socket, you can use whatever you got to take that out. Just go and unscrew those bolts. And there's a washer on there, make sure you don't lose that washer. Okay, so that's basically all that holds the seat on. And you're just going to kind of take the seat and lift up and pull it forward. Now, you guys that have heated seats in that, in that you're going to have a connector here. So make sure you unplug this connector and I'll show you how to do that. If you look here, you have a little, like a little flap, a little lever thing here. Just raise that up and pull it out and it'll come apart. When you put it together, you just put it together and it snaps together. So just raise that up and pull it apart and it comes right out. So that's all there is to taking the seat off. Now what we're trying to do, we're trying to get this panel off to get the backrest mounted. So the one thing I like to do, and I've kind of already done it on this one because he has a custom lay down license plate mount that we offer, but I have the plate loose. So you're going to take the plate off and if you have, you know, the stock mount, you're going to want to take that off. It just makes the job a little bit easier. So on this bike, the same wrench takes those bolts out. I believe on a stock one, it may be a 10 millimeter bolt. I'm not positive, but there's just two bolts that take that off. Okay, so now that we have that off, we can get this panel. This panel just kind of presses in. It's got the snaps like on it. What you want to kind of do first is just kind of pull this side panel up a little bit. Just kind of unhook it. It just snaps in. That's what makes, if you have the license plate off, it makes this easier. You just want to kind of loosen that. And just be careful. There. See how I have it just kind of loose? Because this, this trunk panel here has a little lip and it goes under there. You just kind of pop that up and it makes it a little bit easier. And this will just kind of snap out. And again, do it kind of even because it has four snaps. So that's all there is to it. You can see the snaps in here that press down in the holes. Now two things. If you notice on the stock panels, you have a, a marking here. That's where the backrest goes. That's what you have to cut out. So people ask why we don't supply a template. It's already here for you. All you have to do is cut that. I'll show you how to cut it, but I like to stay on the inside of the line. Cut it real small and trial fit it and just keep working. If you have to go a little bit bigger, go a little bit bigger. It's easier to take more off than it is if you cut way too much the first time. So I'll show you that here in a minute. The other thing is this is where the backrest bolts these four holes. If you had a trunk on here, 
that's the same spot where the trunk bolts. So let me show you. This is real easy. Just put the backrest on. These are 13 millimeter bolts, by the way, use a socket. Now you may have to spread this just a little bit. It should be really, really close, but you may have to spread that out a little bit just to get those to line up. And again, put all the bolts in before you tighten them. Before you tighten one, make sure you put them all in. So I'll tighten those up in a second. But here's what we're doing. That trunk panel is going to go in there and we're going to have to cut this a little bit right where these slots are. So I'll go over to the bench and I'll get my grinder and I'll show you how to cut it. Okay, so we're going to cut this. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I have what I call a whizzer wheel. Um, this is nothing more than like a giant uh, uh, Dremel, you know, with a little cutting wheel. You can use a hacksaw. Um, whatever you want. Pretty thick plastic, you really can't use a knife, but a hacksaw will work. The Dremel type deal works best. So I'll just show you. You just kind of cut on that line. It's nothing more than that. Once you get it, it'll just kind of break out of there. Now my thing's pretty big, so I have to go in there and grind. I can't turn it, but if you had a smaller Dremel, you could actually turn it and make that curve at the end. Because if you make a curve, it looks a little bit better than two straight lines. See how you get it? Now I'll have to clean that up just a little bit. But if I wanted to, I could put that weather stripping on there and cover that up and I'd be good to go. So it doesn't hurt your paint. You know, you don't ruin anything like that. So let me do the other side and we'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, so we got this other side cut out. Now the next tool I have is, again, it's just for you guys. It's just a Dremel. It's my, I have a little bit fancier stuff. But you got a little cutter wheel, a little stone, whatever you get in your Dremel kit. And you're going to want to just round those ends out. You can see how they're kind of chewed up a little bit. So you just grind that out just a little bit and kind of shape it so it looks good. And you can see now it's just kind of rounded. Now, this customer doesn't want the weather stripping part put on. He wanted it cut really nice and close to the backrest. But the weather stripping we give you, it's real easy. You would cut a strip, you know, how, however long you need. And then, if you look, it just pinches. You just open it up, and you just pinch it right on the edge. You can put a little bit of super glue or something in there if you want but you really don't need it and you just kind of work it you know make sure that bottom flap goes on 
and also on the top. And like I say, you would cut it off where you want it, and then you would take the other side and you just kind of do the same thing, and you could see how it would give you a nice edge if you weren't able to cut it real straight. Like I said, this customer doesn't want that, so we're, gonna, we're not going to use it, but that's what it's for. So we'll show you how to put this on. You're just going to slide it, and when you slide it on, if you need to cut out a little bit more, take it back and keep grinding until you get what you want. Like I say, don't cut too much. And then you're just going to pop this back down in. You can look in the back side here and see where it goes. You want to make sure you get it under this lip right here. Make sure you get it under there. Don't be pushing because you'll scratch your plastic. That's why if this is, and it may have gone back down from just sitting here, but you want to make sure that's still up a little bit so you have just a little bit more room to work. You want to tuck that under there. If you're worried about scratching this, put some masking tape or something on it so you don't scratch it. Sometimes it's easier to have an extra hand. As you can see, an extra hand would be nice. And there you go, just snap it in. Snap in your plastic again. You're going to want to put your license plate mount back on. You just basically do everything in the reverse order. You're going to put your plate you know, back on. I'll bolt that on in a second, but you're going to put your plate back on. You're going to want to make sure you connect your seat back up like I showed you. And what you want to make sure you do is if you look in the back of the seat here, see this like hole, there's a notch right here. If you look on your frame, there's a tab back here. You want to make sure that when you put the seat down in, that tab goes in there. And it's kind of just a feel thing. You can, you can kind of see it, but you kind of got to just feel for it. You'll feel it kind of snap in, like right there. And the other trick is try to pull it up. If it pulls up, you don't have it snapped in. So you want to make sure you, you pull up on it. Take your bolts up here. Put them back in and again put, put one in and then put the other one in before you tighten it in case you have to jiggle this around a little bit. Take your panel. Now sometimes guys will put a little Vaseline or a little baby oil or something on there to just get it so it slides down in. Just put that on there if you have trouble. Pop it in and you're all set. That's how you install one of these Witch Doctor backrests or again this is how you install a Victory one. It's real easy to do. You can do it yourself. Thanks for watching.